Welcome back. Our next guest is part of an organization that is celebrating 125 years of supporting and inspiring women. It's considered to be one of the longest standing sisterhoods in the world, which was founded here in Ontario and it's now worldwide. Let's hear more about the Women's Institute. So tell us about the Women's Institute. Well, we are uh, an organization that started in Ontario and has spread, uh, went in, it went to Europe. Uh, it went uh, to almost every uh, country in the world. And so that's part of a group called the uh, ACWW, Association of Country Women of the World. And actually we have a fundraiser coming up where we walk in our own countries and then we send the funds that we've raised to the international group. Okay, and so what exactly does the Women Institute do? The first Women's Institute in 1897 was organized at Squires Hall in Stony Creek. And Erlen Lee is, is, was the founder of the Farmers Institute. At that time, there was a, a, an organization for men and uh, they arranged a meeting and about a hundred women uh, from the uh, township um, showed up and uh, agreed to form a, a, an organization of their own to improve their skills in the arts of homemaking and childcare. And here in the Lee home, Mr. Lee helped, subsequently helped draft the constitution of the new society. Um, so that's our beginning. And what happened from that first organization, branches started up all over. And uh, we are very concerned about education uh, so that we have education of our members and we invite the public into some of the meetings to educate on every uh, lot of different things. Uh, some of the and we also are advocates for better uh, quality of living in uh, in Ontario and some of our successes were wait for it uh, getting school buses to or cars to stop when school buses were flashing their lights up until that point children had to in the rural area had to run across the road and and beware uh, pasteurization of milk, the wrappers around bread so that bread couldn't be sold without a wrapper. Of course, that's kind of different now, but with the uh, all the artisan bakeries. And uh, let's see what else. Uh, white lines on the road. And that came about as a result of um, the Women's Institute. And we still continue today. One of our uh, think, uh, ad resolutions that we have passed is about education in the secondary schools uh, for uh, lifestyle and nutrition, uh, because that's kind of been, it, we feel that it should be available to all students. And, uh, and then we do things to help in our communities. We do um, fundraising. And when the tornado went through, well, uh, through Godrich, we, every branch got together and uh, made quilts to send to the people in Godrich to let them know that we care. Wonderful, wonderful. So this, the Women's Institute is a program for women in rural areas, essentially, and you yes. provide education and networking and, and um, you do some really great community work as well. Oh, you're good. <laughs> yes, that's, that's <laughs> exactly it. Yes. And uh, just quick, quick, uh, we have Tweedsmere history books that are the history of communities. These are online and uh, we, uh, that's one of our, our uh, 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 things that we do. Uh, we collect that history so that it's there for people to know what has gone on before. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the longest running um, women's groups of support groups uh, in I, history, right? It's 125 years you're celebrating this I would say so. Yes, yeah. very forward thinking to, uh, when you can think back in 1897, like women didn't even have the vote. Women weren't people. Uh, so yeah, we've come a long way. 
Well, thank you so much for being here, Joan. We appreciate you letting us know about this and we'll make sure to have your contact information on the screen so that people who are in the rural areas will be able to reach out and hopefully be part of the, the, the network. Thank you for having uh, us, giving us this opportunity to do it. No problem. You take good care and happy International Women's Day. Uh, thank you.